Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, here with David Hay. Right, yes. I thought this was a bit of a Marmalade language fuck about earlier, but it's really not. I was, I was hoping it was, I really I is. thought it was a little bit of a... We went through We went through the contract, we said, okay, to say the fair way is to toss a coin and the winner chooses which... Uh, whether they're coming first or second to the ring. It was all agreed, and then obviously... Derek changed his mind at the last moment. Contract signed, everything all agreed. But okay, so Derek, once, Derek, once Derek gets to be in his bonnet about something, he irrationally sometimes just just keeps going with it. Same way his boxing, his his personality is very much like his boxing style, and it's just sometimes it doesn't make sense. But he just keeps he's just grinding forward with this. This is his new. This is his fight now. His fight is, I'm coming to the ring second. And that's it, that's what he don't care. He's, he'd rather not, he'd rather, he'd rather not fight than come to ring first now. And it makes no sense, I know. I'm trying to, we've got everyone in there trying to talk to him. Frank's just come up there and trying to, he's packing, he's, he's packing up all this stuff. I know, I know he's packing up his stuff. Does Eddie Hearn know that that's currently what he's doing? I'm assuming he does. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. That's why I'm sure Eddie sent Frank up here is to make sure that Derek hasn't gone fully off the reservation. Because you can't leave, to be told, you can't leave the bubble. It's like it's, a, it's regular, so we and he's so he's he's packing his stuff to go. I'm like, it's not like you go outside, then we're going to come back. No, once you go out of that door, that's it. You the fights off. You can't then compete. He's like, I'm gonna fuck. I'm like, you do care. You train real hard for this for like months and months. If there is a situation like you just said there, where Derek does leave the bubble, there is going to be a big problem here, isn't there? It's going to be a massive problem. In regards to yeah, testing, the testing yeah. is, is, you know, the border control only were allowed to stage these events by putting certain protocol in place to make sure the safety of everyone's tip top, blah blah blah. Don't bring it down. Don't bring it downstairs. Leave it up here. Don't honestly, honestly go. No, no, just leave it up here. Rude. Yeah. Leave it up here. Honestly, don't. Start bringing down, just leave it there. Or put, what, put it in my room. Go and put it in my room. Go and put it in my room. Yeah, yeah, no, no, just put it in my room. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is, I, I, I was told by a lot of people that I trust that their job was unmanageable. That's what I said. I was told it'll all end in tears. He's unmanageable. And so far, it's been very, very stressful. But it's kind of, he kind of I, I've always said that he's listened to like 80% of what I asked him to do. He came to me, remember, Derek came to me and said, I want you to manage me. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. And he's done like 80% of that up until probably, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And since then, he's kind of doing more stuff that he wants to do on his own. Like silly little things, but this is like, I'm saying, Derek, We've got a contract, you've agreed certain things. Uh, this is all by the just this is all Derek stuff. No, what's, what's this? What's this? What's this? Just leave it up there, stick it, honestly. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to what you're saying, honestly. Now, that, and that's the other thing. Derek's very scary and he tells someone to do something and they just do it. So, so we've got that to deal with as well. Because technically, and in reality, Derek's the boss. Der I work for Derek. Derek tells me, okay, I want you to do this and this. I can say, I'd rather you do this. This is, I give him a, a logical explanation why what I'm telling him to do is the beneficial thing for him and his career. But he can then say, I accept all of that, but I'm gonna do it my way regardless. And I can't then say anything. I'm not gonna have a fight with him about it. It's his career. If he wants to walk out here and blow his whole, his whole opportunity, he'll never get an opportunity like this again. Pay-per-view event, there's so much at stake here. Not only for him, for everybody else, Right, here we go. This is this is Derek Del Boy Chisora. This is the Del Boy. This isn't War Chisora. War Chisora just gets in there and goes to war. This is Del Boy. De wheeling, dealing, doing everyone's head in. So, David, the current situation is Frank <sighs> Smith is in yeah, Derek's room yeah, now, there, talking yeah, got, to him. Yeah. But why is his things coming out of the room then? If because Derek's telling people, pack my stuff up. I want to get my stuff out of here. So I'm kind of putting them in there. So I hope that delays it, <laughs> delays it a little bit. So hopefully he sees, sees the logic and sees the light and then 
makes the correct decision. There's a right and wrong thing to do right now. And this is fucking mental. I know, I know. This is, but this, this is, like, is that, see, I can tell you some stories about stuff that's happening. It makes no sense. This is just, but that is part and parcel of... Ask, ask Eddie about some of the crazy stuff that he's had to deal with over the years. Dave probably what? hasn't even mentioned to anybody. Right, I'm going to ask you one more question mm -hmm. and I'll let you get back. And I know I appreciate you still coming out and speaking to us and telling us what's going on. Are you honestly telling me there's a possibility that the fight doesn't happen because Derek doesn't want to walk first? 100%. That's exactly... Couldn't have said any better Thank myself. He, he's the type of guy who would be willing to lose all of this money, all of this opportunity, waste a whole know, training camp. That's how stupid without being, this yeah, is. Without sounding disrespectful, how ludicrous that sounds. Yeah. That, like, I, know, so I know exactly how it sounds. I'm though. a quite a logical person. And, things, and that's why it's been very frustrating for me, in general, working with him over the years. It's... Uh, wow. Over the last couple of years, it's been a very long, long couple of years, and I was hoping that we'd have a crescendo of a victory tomorrow night, but it might not even be a fight. I might have done all this hard graft all in vain. All right, I'll let you get, I'll let you get back to it. I appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time. So, and if there's anything else, if I, you could let us know. Not only that, think about what Joseph Parker's had to put his body through, what he's had to sacrifice. And, I said to him, you're going to get sued. I said, you give, if it was the other way, if the Have shoes you on your foot. Have seen Parker obviously aware of this situation as well? Yeah, they know what's going on. I saw Andy Lee earlier on at the rules meeting for the gloves. And we, I'm checking, I'm doing the gloves and I'm thinking, there might not be no need to be doing any checking these gloves. But I'm going through the motions, hoping he's just going to do the right thing. But Derek's Derek, you know. <clears throat> okay, David, thank I'm you. going to try everything humanly possible to get him to change his mind, but... I think you know you know what Derek's like when he gets to this. Yeah, but I didn't, to be honest with you, I, like I said, I don't want to sound disrespectful to Derek. It just seems like a really kind of crazy situation that a day before a fight over something but like that, that. Maybe what it is, normally there's some drama, there's some drama with Derek, some antics, there's some, but there's been nothing up until now. Maybe he's saved all, up, all of that pent-up aggression that normally comes out in press conference where he's screaming and shouting and fighting and throwing tables. None of that, maybe he's saved it all for this one fight, this fight for coming to the ring second. Uh, yeah, maybe that's what he's done. And he's gonna take, he's one of the guys who'll go down with a ship, like, get off the ship, mate, he's going down. And oh, I love the ship, and he just sink with it. That's what it feels like to go down there, no. Right. Anyway, I'll go talk on. to you in a bit. Go on, speak to you in a bit. Thank you very much.